The Nigerian poultry industry is growing at an alarming rate. Just recently, we were being uh, bombarded by a series of challenges that has kept uh, the poultry industry in check, especially the high cost of feed. As we always advocate to all farmers in Nigeria, this is the best time to be shrewd. People who cannot survive this very tough phase face very uh, some hard moments in surviving. So one of the things we want to do, especially in this video, is to talk to poultry farmers, especially the broiler farmers. We understand that if you're not very efficient as a poultry farmer, then there's every tendency for you to lose out, especially when it regards your funds and then, of course, your business processes. So you need to focus on being efficient to be able to at least maximize the little resources you have. I'll be briefly talking about what and what you need to do to succeed as a broiler commercial farmer in Nigeria. As a broiler farmer, there are basic steps you need to ensure to be able to survive the various stage or the various hurdles you encounter as a poultry farmer in Nigeria. And I think one of the most important things is for you to understand that if you're a broiler farmer, it's a sprint. Now, for layer farmers, they are already accustomed to the fact that you spend a lot of time, maybe around five to six months in growing your birds, then another one year for it to complete the cycle, the entire cycle of laying. But in broiler farming, you're not staying that long. You have a very short period of time. Some people use 32 days, some people use 45 days, some people use 60 days. But the entire cycle of broiler farming is between four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. So you must know what you're doing or else once you lose time, uh, one of my mentors, Dr. Wageti, usually say, for every second you lose in your broiler farm, you can never regain it back. In fact, it further bolsters the fact that if you lose 10 grams within your first one week of broiler farming, you are invariably losing 70 grams when they are five weeks. So for every mistake you make within your first one week of broiler production, you're going to be multiplying that mistake by seven. So my first advice for every broiler farmer is number one, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared physically emotionally and financially. I will explain to you. So your broiler pain has to be set. You have to ensure that all your various cleaning processes are effectively done. You have to use the right chemical, no cobwebs, the pen really set. Your drinkers, your feeders, all what you will need, your brooders are fully set to ensure that you maximize the little time you will be spending in raising those DO checks. You also have to be set emotionally. You know, having spent 14 years in this industry, I understand how tough it is to raise broilers. So if you're not there or you're not emotionally set, you will be weighed down by the heavy burdens of having to watch this chick almost 24 hours within the course of raising them. And then the top thing I said is that you have to be set financially. I was put in charge of a particular project to raise 40,000 birds for a particular person. And then the budget was released and within the course of raising the birds, I think they are about fourth, going to f about the fifth week, uh, the budget for feed was off. And I literally watched those birds eat each other. You know, somebody said, cut your coat according to your size, right? In farming, we say, cut your coat according to your material. Your big vision is important, right? But again, you must be also set <laughs> to fund your big vision. There are, there's an average cost of raising broilers between around 1,001 to 1,005, depending on the model you're using. So if you're going to be doing 1,000 birds, you have to be sure you have the money available. One of the things you also need to do when you're set physically, emotionally, and financially is also to ensure that you have within your contact list the list of professionals, veterinarians, people who are skilled in this for two or three reasons, basically. First is for expert advice. 
sometimes when you have started your process of producing your broilers, you can fall into situations, disease conditions, sometimes some symptoms you don't understand as a farmer. It will be unfortunate if within your contact list you don't have the number of a veterinarian. To do a large scale broiler farming, you must have uh, a skilled professional or a skilled veterinarian in your supper. And then finally, our advice, I always tell a broiler farmer, start with the end in mind. Don't engage in broiler production without having a market. Because the moment your birds exceed the seventh or eighth week, you're spending enough, a lot of resources in feeding those birds. And if you don't have the right market for it, you start going down the drain. So I tell all broiler farmers, begin with the end in mind. Ensure that you have a market. Don't believe that you will find a market. Find a market, then use that to stock your farm. Ensure that your decision, your stocking density, is based on an informed decision of the market you're willing to sell. I wish you to like, share, and then of course click on your notification button. If this video is useful to you, ensure your friends watch it. And then more importantly, I'd like you to be a part of our community. Let's make this whole thing work. Thank you and have a wonderful time.